Hey guys, it's Clay. You like the new you like the new background? You like the light? I like the light. It does have batteries though, and it doesn't plug in. Besides the point, I'm a Pokemon channel. I open Pokemon cards. I love Pokemon stuff. I know most things about Pokemon that some people probably don't. Tropius has base 47 speed. Useless information. But today I wanted to do something a little different. I got Lorcana, Disney Lorcana cards. Let's see if the hype is real. I got three of each. Um, oh, I didn't get an art set of this one. Oh, that's annoying. I got two of Elsa. And then we got the the second set. So this one is actually just called the first chapter. I guess it's their rendition of the base set. And this is the second one, Rise of Floodborne. I don't understand what Floodborns are. Yeah, and it doesn't really say what they are on the back. Okay, so I figured we'd just do like a mini pack battle, three three packs each of the first two sets, see if they're any good, and then go from there. Make a decision on if it's like ever worth getting a box or something, or I don't know. The first chapter, dude, I don't know if you guys have ever seen this. The prices are ridiculous. I found these at Target, okay? They were $6 a pack. Six dollars a pack is already a lot, right? You know we're all used to paying like three fifty, three ninety nine, whatever. Five ninety nine a pack before tax is crazy. I can't get this one out. Five ninety nine a pack is crazy. And then I went on TCG Player, and I was like, let me, let me, let me see what he's reselling for. Let's see if it's worth opening. These are nine dollars plus shipping. Nine dollars before tax plus shipping. Isn't that crazy? This came out like six months ago. And we're already almost double MSRP on TCG Player. Are people that, like, pumped for this? Someone, I saw someone online call this, like, the Pokemon Killer, as they always call every new TCG. Hey, look, that's an art set. That's an art set. Is this an art set? Ooh, this is an art set, too. You know, I haven't seen these movies. Nope, never seen them. Never seen Raya, and I've never seen... Ooh, what is the name of this movie? Someone give me a comment so I can I can watch it. I have Disney Plus. I have never seen it. These, you know, Maleficent, Mickey, and Elsa. I've, <coughs> I've never seen Frozen either. Ooh, sorry. Come on, camera, stay still. My phone's too heavy. All right, so we'll we'll alternate. You know, we'll alternate. So the coolest cards I think are like these alternate art. Like Prism Rares, or I forget what they're called. Legendaries. I legitimately think they're called Legendaries. And every card, yeah, feel free to scan that, has one of these. It's a four card set mini art display. They're pretty cool. I got them all in a couple other packs I opened. And the back of the cards are actually really neat. I really like these, you know, the it's magical. The magic of Disney. And they have a lot of the characters, you know, that I know and love, like Aladdin. A mini mouse all decked out. So this symbol is commons. Horse. Why are you here? Oh, Cusco. I love that. Kristoff. And this is uncommon, I think. We got the beast. Grandma Tala. See, they literally have every character in these. This is the rare. Ooh. We got Taka. I, th I forget what this one is. It's basically like the ultra rare. And then you get a hollow foil of something in the back. And this one's a hollow foil common, which, uh, as you can probably guess, I don't think is that good. I don't. Looking at some of the prices online, they're not uh, the greatest. The best ones are called Enchanted, I think. All right, this is the second set. Oh, and it's a Minnie Mouse display. Okay, cool. Uh, we got one piece of that. I don't think I've ever opened this one. We got Sneezy. Jimmy Cricket, Boone, Bound, Verana, probably from a movie I haven't seen, Cruella de Vil, what a, what a beast, dude, a mogul, if you will, Jafar, Jafar only has one F, oh, dude, that, I'm learning so much today, Last Stand, Binding, oh, Minnie Mouse, cool, Prince John, oh my god, look at him, actual mogul. And we got Yzma, and we got a hollow common of Gumbo Pot. 
So I don't know, Does can every card be a hollow? That means, that makes the pull rates in this kind of cheeks, you know? Hey, look, we got the same piece we got before. All right, dude, if, they're, if they can all be hollows, Ooh, I like this. He got a sword. No! Control your temper. Friends on the other side. That was a good song. That was a good movie. I like that one. We got Steamboat Willie. We got a Magic Flower. We got Tinkerbell. I think there's a like an Enchanted of this one. And it's like $300. We got Buffuddle. Mother Knows Best. Coconut Biscuit. The rare is Dr. F Felicier. We got Lifu. And we got the genie hollow. Again, I just feel like every card can be a hollow, and I that's making me not want to open this ever again. You know, because if, if every card is a hollow, no card is a hollow. You know? Because now I'm, now I'm chasing an enchanted card plus a hollow Mickey Mouse or something. I feel like they could do better with that. Like the reverse foils in Pokemon. They look the same piece again. Like the reverse foils in Pokemon. I feel like they could do something like that. The Queen. Crooked. Peter Pan's Dagger. Flynn Rider. That was a really good movie. Tangled is a top tier movie. The Storm Rage On. Caterpillar. Last Stand. Binding Contract. The back of the cards have a little bit of, not texture, but like a glossiness to them. Crunk. Pack tactics. A hollow uncommon? Not it's like barely even hollow. What's guys I have very low hopes for the survivability of this card game. I think it'll be popular because it's got big franchises in it. I don't think it's popular because the cards are amazing. I mean the artwork is awesome. And the card quality feels, hey, a different piece, feels good. Like these feel, they have a great feel to them. Like they're not like cheap. They're definitely thicker than uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but they're not as thick as Pokemon cards. Like if I take this uh, Varum over here and do a little side by side, the Pokemon card is very obviously thicker and it's like, it's a little smoother where this is like, sorry, I said that backwards. The Hey, stay over there. The Lorcana cards are like a bit smoother, and the Pokemon cards are a bit more matte. So, uh, eh. Mufasa. See, why is that a common? That's Mufasa. Okay, I'm confused. Pongo? I haven't seen that movie in a long time. If Okay, Simba and Mufasa should not be the same rarity. Am I wrong for thinking that? They should not be equal. They should just, they shouldn't be. The wardrobe. Two, two Simba commons? Dude, I'm. Ooh, cut to the chase. He's got scissors. We got Olaf. Olaf's an uncommon, but Simba isn't. Okay, the beast is mine. Poisoned apple. Hey, we got a, a, a cooler symbol of the beast, and we got a rare part of your world. Why don't I remember this scene? Okay, so uh, cool cards in the first chapter. Pretty cool cards. The coolest cards I've ever seen. Uh, no. Sorry. Maybe I'll do like a little community post of like the price. We got two of these symbols that we're not seen before. I, these aren't in the Enchanted. The Enchanted look different. I know that. Uh, yeah. I'm not... See, Krabby doesn't even like them. And Krabby likes everybody, you know? Krabby doesn't stop smiling. And Krabby doesn't even want to hold the cards. Come on, Pikachu light that doesn't have a battery. All right, final pack of the second set. Ooh, we got her head. Cool. So now we have two different pieces of that. Okay, we got Raya. I gotta watch that movie. We got the Enchantress. We got the Popsicle. I like that. I like that. That's cool. We got Painting the Roses Red. We got Merlin. We got the Benja. Dude, I really gotta see this movie. This whole set feels like it's just Raya characters. <laughs> the most diabolical scheme. 
I love it when they do this though, when they have you know the picture and the shadows doing something crazy. That's the Disney magic. Wreck It Ralph, great movie. Or ring the bell. Hiram Flaversham. Okay, hold on. Hold on. And the back card is Common Donald Duck. Hold on. Hold on. I got a bone to pick here. I got a bone to pick. Mufasa in this. Common. Mufasa in this. Ultra rare? Probably. I'm, we're going to call this ultra rare. What? I don't play the card game, so I don't know what any of this means, but it took them a whole extra set to give Mufasa his flowers. I mean, he's only in the movie for like a half hour, but still, spoilers. Come on now. That makes me a little upset. Okay, all in all, my review of Lorcana, pretty, pretty good, pretty good, not the best. I think it's really hard to, when Pokemon is the standard for, you know, variability in packs and stuff, it's hard. Um, not to say that there wasn't a lot of different, like, I mean, there's a lot of differences in all of these cards. Like these, like basically, I guess these are like trainer support cards. They're pretty cool. My problem is things like this, that Mufasa is a common. And that every card in this set, I mean, there's 12 cards per pack. Theoretically, any card in the math, in the full set of the Lorcana can be a hollow. It's almost like the reverses, but the reverses aren't like the chase. You know what I mean? You don't chase a pack for a reverse hollow. I guess you do in like Paldean Fates when you want a shiny or something. But in the grand scheme, you don't chase for the, the reverse. So why is the final pack card in the pack a hollow that could be anything? You know what I mean? I get it if the final card could also be one of those enchanted rares that's, you know, the really high expensive, the alternate arts. I get that. But if every base pack is just a hollow of every other card, eh. Let me know what you think. I mean... Because I guess in Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh, there are a set amount of cards that are rare or hollow rare or ultra rare. So which do you think is better? Do you think it's better to have every card have the option to be a hollow? Or do you think it's an option to have, you know, 10 that you're chasing for it to be hollow? You know, let, let me know in the comments. Also, thank you guys so much. I just I gained like 8 subscribers in the last like 3 days. That's crazy. I'm up to like 34, 35. That's awesome. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Hopefully I can start making, not because of like funding, but hopefully I can start making better content and start, you know, doing card reviews like this kind of thing. I won't ever open MetaZoo, so please don't comment that. Um, but yeah, I'll try to post at least one video a week from now on, maybe like a set review of what I have or me scrolling on TCG, buying junk or something like that. I don't know. But thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Please leave a like. Leave a comment. What do you think about Lorcana? Does it have a future after being out for like six months? And I will talk to you all later. Peace.